why Twitch will not succeed as a platform. For a minute, I thought it was mm. when like Ninja was coming up and we were on there with our podcast. But I'll tell you, you they were trying so hard to be more than video games. Mm -hmm. And it was so important for them to grow as a platform. Yeah. And I think them bringing our podcast on was really smart. And we had a lot of success there. But when it came time to renegotiate our contract, they were penny pinching us and tr throwing us away and having totally unreasonable demands. And uh, where even I would even go as far as to say vindictive and uh, petty when we decided to leave Twitch and go back to YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, after the... After I decided that, they can't... I mean, their channel would have gotten the same contract as everyone else on Twitch. No, no sorry, not everyone else. Every top streamer on Twitch. He, does he think he deserves more than, than other streamers? Other top streamers? Or what? Cancelled my partnership. Like, just out of spite. I had Which part we had before the podcast. Like, the top streamers get 70%, right? Instead of 50% from from subs. I don't know a single streamer that gets more than 70%, even though some people think that they do. So this guy must have... Um, this this guy must have probably wanted more than, than 70%. Okay. For years. <laughs> yeah. And I would stream yeah. on and off. And after the, it ended, they canceled my. They went other way and canceled my partnership to get rid of my subscribe button. And then they still owed me money. And six months later, after trying to chase down my payment for so long, they're like, "Oh, uh, so we're trying to pay you, but we actually need you to sign up for the partner program again before we can pay you." <laughs> they didn't think that one through. I was they? like, "You fucking clowns!" Welcome to you, I refused. I actually got in on and off with them for a long time, and I just flat out said, "I am not." Enrolling in that shit. Here's my wire information. You yeah. kicked me out. <laughs> fucking pay me. You know. Wait. Why did he kick so him I out? That the because that because he streamed on on YouTube. Or why did he why did he do that? Management there is a mess. Mm -hmm. They didn't kick him out. He left. He didn't want to sign another contract. I think that they're extremely short-sighted with their budget and how... I mean, if you don't want to renew your contract, then... They you, lost us big time. You can't be a part. I liked being there, but they lost us big time. Mm -hmm. I think that the management is really bad. I think they don't have good people there. And I think that um, they, they're just too invested in video games and they haven't successfully branched out to other verticals. Yeah, I mean, they were trying to get us to... <laughs> like agree on amount Welcome of hours to, to stream they're like how can you stream more hours but it's a it, it, the show is the Welcome show it's not yeah. about yeah. how many hours we can do yeah exactly the, the show is about what we talk about and it has its own like take it or leave it yeah we're not gonna stream longer to meet some hour quota no we just want the show to be good mm. but i i don't think twitch is ever gonna i think they're i don't see it i don't see it they, they're not able to cater to high-quality people. Like, playing video games is cool, and that's one thing. But if you want, like, talented people making high-quality content there, there's no fucking reason to do it unless not they're... Not calling kind of gamers like, not high-quality. High-quality. It's, quality. Not, it's oh, not that man. what they're doing isn't great. It's great on Twitch, and it's obviously really entertaining because a lot of people are watching it. But if you want <sighs> to if you want get something other verticals... Yeah, broader than video games. Then you need to... I don't know. They just weren't willing to, to do what it took to, to do it. And so, I don't see it. You know, they once asked me, they like took us out to a fancy dinner and they were trying to pick Welcome our brain. And he's like, what do you think, you know, how do we compete? And I was like, oh, well, you need VODs. You need to, and this was during a time when people were really angry with YouTube and all their systems and adpocalypse and copyright and all this. I was like, bro, everybody's trying to make a competitor to YouTube. There's creators who are banding together trying to make competitors to YouTube. You guys have the money and the means and the audience. Just start making VODs and recommending VODs to people. Because mm -hmm. they have VODs of streams, but there's no curated... There's pe People don't upload their videos. Like Even if you allowed YouTubers like me or any of their big creators who's, who stream there to just upload their YouTube videos also on Twitch, 
and then created some means of delivering it and compensating, you in a couple of years time would already start mm -hmm. building that ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, we never even thought about that. <laughs> it's so crazy. Just think about, I mean, how huge oh, wow. of a market. Okay, so he wants Twitch to do exactly what YouTube does, but the reason that they moved over to Twitch in the first place was because they were earning jack shit from the YouTube system with ads because YouTube was fucking them in the ass. And they want Twitch to do the exact same thing. No streamer wants to fucking bother. If they wanted to be a YouTube streamer, they would fucking put their videos on YouTube, but there there's so few fucking streamers who actually take their YouTube channel seriously, right? Because, you know, it, it's just it's just shit compared to to subscribers and live content, right? And donations, etc. So it's 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 not a good idea it is on YouTube of like re-uploads and right. edits of Twitch streams. Like this, it's huge. That's, that's such a good massive. point. Like, why that's is that even happening? Our, our highlight channel started. Right. People would take our clips the and re-upload them on, on YouTube. YouTube. Dan, that's <laughs> such a good point that like Twitch can't even manage. Wait that. a second. What the fuck? I'm Boomer. Fuck you, Forsen. You actually got Boomer username? WTF is this clown talking about higher quality is for YouTube videos. Streaming is for autistic people like chat wall W. <sighs> higher quality is for YouTube videos. Streaming is for autistic people like chat. Yeah, when he says higher quality, he means reaction content. You know, IRL viewers, uh, all that shit. He doesn't mean specifically edited videos. It just means more of that genre. Like anything non gaming he's talking about. I'll play getting the boomer username guy in chat. Very impressive. Their own content that originates there that people would rather watch it on YouTube because YouTube's system of serving it and curating it is so much better. Mm -hmm. That's a huge problem. Like if they they need to develop a way to curate content and serve it to people, if you show that on people's homepage, they'd be watching videos on Twitch before you know it. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden people are spending more time on Twitch because one of the inherent issues with Twitch is that you can only watch one video at a time. One stream. Once this person's streaming, you want it, watching live is way better than the VOD. Mm -hmm. Let's face it. Because you want to interact That's the whole with point. what's happening. Right. So I think part of the issue on Twitch that a lot of people have trouble with is that you you can only watch one live show at once. So it's like they're YouTube, all competing. Yeah, you can watch a thousand videos and there's there's space for everybody on YouTube. But on Twitch... You can only watch one live stream at a time, but on YouTube you can watch infinite videos at the same time? Like, what? No, you cannot. What? I don't get... I don't, what is he trying to say? Someone tell me. Because I'm not understanding what what his point is here. Streams aren't always on. Yeah, and, and he means vods versus videos. Yeah, but you still only watch one one YouTube video at a time, right? You don't turn on multiple videos at a time. You can. The same way you can watch. I don't. On Twitch, you watch for like one hour, while a video on YouTube is like 15 minutes. Okay. But you're actually competing for. I still don't see the point. I'm sorry. That's why it's so toxic. I think so. Between the streamers. Yeah, and I think that's. I think so. Because people see these like titty streamers as stealing Welcome views. Because uh, again, people decide what they want to view. It's just stupid nonsense. But there's a lot of I was blown away there's a lot of comp uh, competition and drama between almost, YouTube streamers too, right? Um, They're always throwing shit in well, the competitors' good. direction yeah. and stuff. And when he was like, "Oh, we hadn't even considered that," I was like, "Are you fucking?" <laughs> Yeah, that's wild. Sure, you should work Especially there. like you said, I mean, this was 
during the period of the apocalypse, like when yes, when the was. hate for YouTube was at its highest, like that was yes. the time to strike right then, and they were just <sighs> dropping crazy. the ball completely. It's crazy with Jeff Bezos' money. You you would think that that because they wouldn't be such penny pinching bitches. Yeah. yeah, but they are such penny pinching little fucks over there, and they're just so they're so focused on the bottom line. I think Twitch probably just loses a bunch of money, and Amazon. Well, YouTube was losing money every year. That's true, but I think Google is way... Well, clearly... Than Amazon? But the well, thing I mean, is, you, YouTube, Amazon is, YouTube is like the advertising arm. YouTube is special. How does Twitch they, lose they money every the year? There. But I don't think Amazon understands the value in Twitch or the potential. They bought it. I mean, they... I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what their some... problem is. <laughs> they can't figure it out over there. Anyway, fuck it all. Fuck, Am fuck Twitch. I'm over them. Really you know what I think? I don't think he wanted a better split of the sub money. I think he wanted uh, a monthly salary from Twitch for streaming on Twitch. Because he doesn't stream that much, right? And if you don't stream that much, you're not going to get those subs anyway. So the the sub ratio um, doesn't really matter. He wanted a fixed salary. That's why he was saying that Twitch wanted him to stream in a, a, a set amount of hours, right? I think he wanted a set a fixed salary from Twitch of a lot of thousands a month to stream there. And I think he's out of his mind if he thinks Twitch will make, make him a favorite because there's tons of streamers on Twitch that easily rake in twice what he what he what he would have if he streamed every day. Like he stream I think he streamed uh I think he streamed a couple times a month or uh, uh, a few times a month or something. I'm not quite sure exactly, but maybe once a week or whatever. And if he were to stream every single day, if he were to stream every single day, every single day, uh, his, he would for sure be where the other YouTubers are around like 4,000 viewers or something. Those who stream every day. Three, three to four thousand, and there's Jesus, no way. I am sure you have noticed that body language. He inspires zero confidence and authority about what he is saying. Seems really forced. Yeah, I, I, I really, I really think that he asked for a fixed, fixed monthly salary to stream on on Twitch, but uh, to stream four times as well. But he, had, we have, we have so many streamers on Twitch that, like, the more you stream, the less viewers you will have on average kind of uh it sounds weird but if you're like a, a big 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 streamer uh or a big personality kind of um because if you're doing rare things all the time then it's more interesting for people uh than if you're grinding so he would if he were to grind he would be a, a low low not low viewer but you know relatively to the the big guys who don't get a fucking fixed salary for streaming on twitch so I think he's just salty yeah, that he didn't get super special people. treatment. And this kind of shit is stupid. Because on YouTube, there's such a clear separation of the staff. And I think that's part of the problem. Also, that people feel somewhat alienated on YouTube. But on Twitch, there's not enough bigger separation. <laughs> because while I wouldn't be surprised at all if it was a rumor that Alinity sleeping with Twitch staff. On yeah. the other hand, I wouldn't all be surprised. Because it's extremely possible for something like that to happen. I don't. I don't understand either the. I don't understand either the. Uh, the that kind Kipple of rumor. Is the word of the day. Kipple is defined as endless quibbling argumentation as a tactic to confuse entire out opposition and political debate, typically employed by people like three three to argue in circles until people agree with them. Pill pull is the word of the day. Pill pull is defined as endless quibbling and argumentation as a tactic to confuse and tire out opposition, opposition in political debate. Typically employed by people like H3 to argue in circles until you, until people agree with, with them. Ah, <coughs> uh, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know. But uh, I don't think that 
Okay, so here's the thing. You, like, for in order for her to be 100% safe, she would have to have slept with the fucking CEO of Twitch, right? And not very likely. Uh, there's tons of people on the moderation team, and any one of them who didn't get the puss would, would, would ban her instantly if that were the case, right? Like, if she did something bannable. Um, so I, I, when people say that argument, it's the worst argument out of them all. Uh, no, I was talking hypothetically. If she did something worthy of banning, then uh, anyone else in the moderation team. There's not just one guy on the moderation team on Twitch. There's not just one guy. There's a lot of them. And anyone has the power to ban. Anyone can get a report and, and ban. Um, so yeah. It's it's not just one guy. And also, when people use the argument that she brings in too much money to Twitch, she doesn't. She really doesn't. There's tons of streamers who bring out way more and, and they can easily get banned and stuff. So it's it's not about favoriting, favorizing the earners. I said this before, but the amount of the the amount of money that yeah, that even someone like Shroud, I don't know how many subs he has, but uh, 30k, I don't know, uh, 30k subs, they don't care. Like, fucking Twitch is is uh, valued over over a billion dollars, right? It's valued over a billion dollars. They don't ca they don't care if they have to ban fucking Shroud for a month. It's 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 nothing for them. It's 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 nothing at all. So the fact that any streamer make them enough money, they can still ban them for a month and be fine. For sure. Any stream that goes for any streamer on Twitch. No one is no one is uh, safe because they earn Twitch money in that sense. Does not work that way. But yeah. I guess people people are living in their own bubbles sometimes, to you and unless you have the numbers in front of you, it's it's you're just making guesses. Uh, Meme Donuts for forty four and says, "Where would you rank Sekiro among the f among the From Software games? Uh, where would I rank Sekiro? Uh, I would." Probably rank it. Welcome to Uganda. I would probably rank it after Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 1, Bloodborne. But before Dark Souls 2, maybe? Or actually, I would have it at the same place as Dark Souls 2, honestly. I feel like Dark Souls 2 is is fine and Sekiro is fine but I would rank it after Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3 probably Sekiro last? no not last it just it, it, it just isn't Dark Souls it's it's not it's not customizable enough for for me in terms of uh, fighting Welcome. style right you can only have you have the same weapon you can do a little bit of moves uh, differently if you spend your points but uh, yeah anyone like most people got every single um, prosthetic is what they were called right hard equals boo how no uh no, not at all. I I didn't have a hard time with uh, Sekiro. I beat it all the hardest bosses and everything whatsoever. Uh it wasn't it wasn't harder than some of the Dark Souls 3 bosses for me. So I'm not saying it because of that. I'm saying it because of not enough customization. In my opinion, there was no. There, it was hard to make the force and build. Is what I'm trying to say. It was hard to make the force and build. 
equals boo, maybe. But it wasn't a hard game even without the force and build. You know what I mean? The force and build is there to make the game harder. Handicap yourself so that the glory is that much sweeter when you do beat it. You know? Epic's 49, Rimpo.